God's advice today. Do not ignore this video and stay until the end. God is sending many signs, but it seems like you are ignoring all of them, so do not ignore this video because it is a message from God's heart to bless your life today. Before we continue, please leave your like so that more people can be reached by this message, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive more videos like this. God said, Dear child, I wish to share words of thanks and gratitude with you for this special moment when we acknowledge and celebrate the blessing of healing. Gratitude is a deep and powerful sentiment, and when directed toward me, it forges a unique connection between your heart and mine. Firstly, know that your healing is a manifestation of my love and grace in your life. Health is a precious gift, and when you experience recovery from an illness, it's akin to my outstretched hand touching your being directly. It's a testament to my power of restoration and my desire to witness your health and wholeness. Say, I believe, if you do. Expressing gratitude for healing isn't merely about recognizing the end of an ailment, it also acknowledges the growth and transformation that transpired during the journey. Pain and adversity often teach profound life lessons about ourselves and our true values. The Bible passage echoing this message is Psalm 107 verse 19, 21. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, he rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind. Gratitude is also a means of sharing your joy and the blessing of healing with others. When you express gratitude, it inspires those around you to be grateful for the gifts in their lives as well. It's a way to spread the light and love you've received. Your unique healing journey and the moment of overcoming illness are indeed causes for celebration. Celebrate your healing with joy and humility, recognizing that gratitude is an expression of acknowledging my mercy and kindness. It deepens your connection with me. Gratitude is a form of prayer, opening your heart to my presence and the abundance of my love. Delving into gratitude brings you closer to me. Remember, healing is a complex process encompassing not just the physical body, but also the mind and spirit. It's a journey requiring patience, faith, and perseverance. The Bible passage corresponding to this message is Philippians 4 verse 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Hope isn't just believing in better days, it's also having confidence in my presence during trials and challenges. Keeping hope alive signifies that you're not journeying alone, that I'm continuously working on your behalf, even when answers and solutions aren't immediately visible. Hope is a force that empowers you to face adversity with courage and resilience. It nurtures your inner strength, often unnoticed, residing in your heart. Remember, you are stronger than you think, and hope is the spark igniting that strength. The Bible passage harmonizing with this part of the message is Romans 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Moreover, hope is a beacon illuminating your path as you journey through life. It offers the necessary clarity and guidance to make wise decisions when you trust in me and keep hope alive. It's not only about surviving trials but also thriving and growing through them, even in the most challenging situations, such as illness, loss, pain, or uncertainty. Remember, hope is a potent antidote in such circumstances, a helping hand that lifts you when you fall, and a gentle voice offering encouragement when you're disheartened. Hope is also contagious. Maintaining hope inspires those around you to do the same, turning you into a beacon of hope, demonstrating that even in the darkest times, a light shines on the horizon. Your hope can reignite faith in the hearts of those around you. The Bible passage aligning with this aspect of the message is 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11. Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. 
leave a message for God in the comments. Nonetheless, hope isn't passive, it's an active choice made every day, requiring perseverance and faith, especially when circumstances seem challenging. When facing adversity with hope, you effectively turn challenges into opportunities for growth and triumph. So, dear child, I encourage you to keep hope alive in your heart, no matter what life brings. Know that I'm by your side, guiding you with love and care. Together, there's no challenge we can't conquer. May hope be your constant companion, guiding you through trials and illuminating the path toward a future filled with blessings and achievements. Remember that with hope and faith, you can overcome any obstacle and reach for the stars. With all my love, God. I hope this message has been an inspiration to you. If you liked it, please write amen and share this message with someone who also needs to hear it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content like this. Until tomorrow.